shall we? And we begin with our top story. Mavoko Member of Parliament, Patrick Macau, was today questioned by officers from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations regarding the grabbing of East Africa Portland cement land located in Mavoko that, since Friday, has seen tens of houses demolished. Now, the Member of Parliament has denied any involvement in the land grabbing, claiming he is being crucified for defending innocent residents whose houses have so far been brought down. KTN's David Mudoka kicks off our broadcast tonight. A day after the Directorate of Criminal Investigation summoned some 30 people, among them a vocal member of Parliament Patrick Macau, to record statements of the grabbing of East Africa Portland cement land that has now seen houses belonging to residents demolished, the Mavoko legislator was the first to present himself at the DCI headquarters in Nairobi for questioning. Yeah, Macau denied any involvement in the grabbing of the 4,298 acres of land belonging to Portland Cement during his one and a half hours of grilling. And if there is in any way you find Macau involved, let me be held capable. But because I'm speaking for people of Mavoko, nobody is going to gag me. There are other people purporting to conduct their own investigation. They should all come to DCI and whoever has any information in relation to this matter, to record statements here. Macau instead pointed an accusing finger at former Machakos Governor Alfred Mutua, who is now Tourism Cabinet Secretary, saying that the former governor has a case to answer. You all know, you cannot build without county government's approval. How are these houses built? Not one, not a hundred, but in their thousands. But a section of Kenya Kwanzaa MPs have insisted that it is the Mavoko MP and other WIPA leaders who have a case to answer. The list that was given by the DCI must be expanded because I think this is a Macau list only. But where is the big fish? The Kenya Kwanzaa legislators further folded a plan by the Wavinya and led Machakos County government to compensate victims of the Mavoko demolitions from the exchequer, saying those involved in the Mavoko land fraud should refund the victims. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. Now, brush with the law of a member of parliament and to a governor. Let's take you all the way to Meru.